Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro Marvel Legends series Spider-Man No Way Home Armadillo Build-A-Figure Wave. Here we have the integrated suit Spider-Man figure. Everyone's been asking all over Instagram, every other comment, do this one first, do this one first, do this one first. I typically go in order that they are on the package. So we're gonna take a look at the integrated suit first and the black and gold suit, Doctor Strange, J. Jonah Jameson, Miles Morales, Morlun, and Shriek. So here, the integrated suit. Seen a few comments saying, hey, it's the Iron Spider figure. Um, I don't think it is. I will do a comparison here um, as I open it and take it out of the package. Um, I actually know it's not the same. The legs might be, I have to take a look at that, but it is, um, I think gonna be 100% new sculpt, but we'll figure that out here uh, shortly. So before I get into it, everyone's gonna ask how? How is this possible? How did you get it so early? Where did you get them from? It's Walmart. Walmart's down in Southern California, Northern California too, but I happen to be down in Southern California on a little vacation. Um, and the Walmarts down there started to receive them. The box does say street dated for October 1st. However, Walmart typically doesn't put any kind of register blocks or anything like that. Um, but I was able to get the whole wave and I am very excited. So let's get right to it. We see the Spider-Man No Way Home uh, movie logo there in the front. And one interesting thing, it actually says No Way Home, where it's like the Titan, um, Titan Hero series figures and the ba basic figures didn't actually say No Way Home. Um, actually, do the basic figures say? The basic basic figures do not say no way home, uh, so it's interesting that they actually put that that the actual a uh, title on the packaging. Um, here it says integrated suit Spider Man. Up at the top we get a spider logo. The corner says build a figure Marvel's armadillo. Side artwork uh, for the integrated suit there on the side. We get another look at it. On the back of the package there, the bio reads, Spider-Man gears up in his integrated suit to to bravely confront a new threat. We don't actually know what the full-on threat is other than Green Goblin, uh, Doc Ock, and maybe Lizard, um, Electro. So it's going to be crazy, and we don't know anything about the movie, but a lot of insanity, I'm sure. Uh, but let's just get right to it. Let's check out the figure. And here is the integrated suit Spider-Man figure out of the package, and I can confirm that it is a new sculpt. It is not the same as the Iron Spider figure. Um, and again, I will do a comparison uh, with all of the Spider-Man figures, um, all the MCU Spider-Man figures anyway. I will do comparisons with those so you guys can see them. But this thing is pretty cool. There's a lot of nice little details in the texture of the suit that I really want to talk about. So let's get right into it. Let's zoom in and take a closer look. Okay, so here's an up close look at the new integrated suit Spider-Man figure. Um, as you can see, what I really like is, you know, like the upgraded suit from Far From Home had a lot of bright red because the plastic that they used was just really shiny. Um, here we get a nice matte red finish throughout the figure. However, on the shoulders, we do get a little bit of that bright red that's painted on, unfortunately. And I think it's, because, well, I don't think they painted it over the gold, but for whatever reason, that red paint, it just looks shiny and doesn't really look as good. That same thing happens on the forearms with the red paint on the forearm, it looks a little bit shinier. Um, right here on the waist, same thing, but the, tor the upper torso piece, it's a very flat matte red that looks really good. And the same, uh, goes for the feet. The red get a little bit of shine to them as you kind of have a little bit of paint. It doesn't have the same texture to it, um, but it does look really good. Hopefully the texture really comes across on the video, but like looking at the feet, you could really see it and it does look really, really good. It's like a bunch of little bumps, um, but it looks really good. I'll try to get in as close as possible on the torso to kind of see the same thing. Uh, but just looks really good. It's kind of a dark gray, not quite black color throughout like the legs and some of the body and stuff. But there is a texture to the whole entire figure that just looks really good. All these lines and everything on there is all sculpted. And there's no paint or anything, but it looks pretty good. Looking at the gold here, I think you can see kind of some of the texture in that gold as well looks really good i don't know if this is the integrated suit what exactly in the movie how it's going to be if it's just like a newer version of the iron spider suit which would kind of make sense it's got a lot of the same design elements to it but um it is in fact you know a different design altogether um, but like looking at it you could see it's the same basic shape of the spider on the back the front um, is basically the same shape as well so you know it it's similar in design and I don't know if that's just because an action figure form that made it a little bit more updated or what the case may be, but it is it is different, so it is not the same. The head sculpts look a little different too, so I'm gonna have to kind of really deep dive and take a closer look at it. Um, but yeah, we get these web shooters here. 
a little bit of white and baby blue paint on there to kind of show a glow effect that is pretty good these web shooters do come off because when you pop the hands off you can pull that off but the way the wrist is sculpted it's sculpted that these web shooters fit right on there so they're not going to spin or turn or anything like that um, on the figure as far as accessories he only comes with thwipping hands so again no wall crawling hands on the mcu spider-man figure i think at this point we're just never going to get them but looking at the glove the glove looks pretty good it's got kind of the black and red to it we get a little bit of the texture there but that looks pretty good so the fingers are like black, same color to match the suit. And then the palms and the back of the hand, for the most part, are red with a little bit of black back there too. But just looks really nice. Really like the way the gold looks. I love the texture on there. The matte red is really nice. Uh, one thing though that is odd, you see at the base of the neck, you can kind of see the curved lines in there. Um, so the neck is actually like a separate piece that's like glued onto the torso. So I'm thinking maybe for a future figure that's something they can kind of adjust out if they had like a neck with maybe half the mask down if you do an unmasked version. Um, we uh, know that Hasbro tends to do things like that where they release multiple figures of the same design. So that could be something to look out for because it's interesting how that it's there. Now it's not a separate piece in that it moves around so much but you can kind of see the separation of it. But it doesn't, it doesn't rotate or anything like that. Um, so kind of interesting, but yeah, there is the integrated suit spider-man figure and it just looks really good Okay, so here is the integrated suit spider-man's articulation so he can look down that much He can look up that much the head is on a dumbbell uh, ball joint So it, you know it can get all kinds of pivot and everything you get a full rotation if that's what you wanted to do so you can get you can get Spider-Man to be pretty expressive in those ways. Shoulder you can get to go basically straight out. You get a full rotation in there. We have a butterfly joint, so it's only going to go back so far, and it's only going to come forward so much. So not a whole lot, but I guess it's better than nothing. Even though you don't really get a whole lot of um, a whole lot of movement in there. You have an upper bicep swivel in there. You get a double jointed elbow. And I, I didn't mention this earlier on the close-ups. Uh, this figure is fully pinless. So no pins at the elbow, no pins at the knee. So that much bend at the elbow. Wrists swivel and they do hinge. As you can see there. We have an ab crunch. So Spider-Man can crunch forward that much, which is okay. He can go back a little bit there. You get a waist swivel. Legs go out this far apart. He can kick forward that high the leg goes back a little bit upper thigh cut in there double jointed knee and again the knee is pinless it's a solid bend at the knee it looks pretty good and natural there's no boot swivel or calf swivel foot hinges all the way down a little bit of hinge up ankle pivot peg holes at the bottom of the feet um so uh not the greatest for a spider-man figure but it's about on par uh, with the MCU Spider-Man figures we've gotten so far. And speaking of MCU Spider-Man figures, let's check them all out. Okay, so here is a lot of MCU Spider-Man. So technically there's been a couple of others that have released. We got the two-pack version that came with the Iron Man Mark 47 Sentry. We have the Iron Spider from the Avengers Infinity War two-pack Target exclusive with Iron Man Mark 50. We also had the Captain America Civil War version, which wasn't technically film accurate, so I didn't uh, bother including it here. And that may have been all of it. So a lot of different Spider-Man figures. So we have the two from the new movie, um, Spider-Man No Way Home, the integrated suit, Spider-Man, and the black and gold suit. We have the upgraded suit, Iron Spider, Zombie Hunter so Spider-Man. We have the Night Monkey Stealth suit, the... Um, the school jacket one, the two pack exclusive with MJ and the target exclusive. We have the tech suit and then we have the homemade suit. So that's a lot of MCU Spider-Man figures. Um, the one that I think is probably the best made was probably the integrated suit Spider-Man, the homemade or the Stark tech suit. Black and gold is okay. Upgraded suit was just okay. That bright red really took that one down. Iron Sp Spider was okay. The uh, more accurate version was definitely better. Um, so we have all those. You guys let me know down in the comments below which one is your favorite Spider-Man suit design for the movies and then which one is your favorite figure.
Okay, so people are going to ask, does the Tom Holland head fit on the integrated suit Spider-Man? And I can confirm that it fits just fine on there. This is the head that came in the Iron Spider, uh, Iron Man 2-pack, the Infinity War uh, Marvel Studios 10th Anniversary Target exclusive 2-pack. Um, pops on there perfectly, doesn't come off or anything like that. It has a little bit of wobbliness to it, but it'll stay you know, right where you might need it to be. Um, not that it's the best Tom Holland likeness, it is a pretty good one, and we know that the upcoming Walmart exclusive that's probably going to drop during Walmart Collector Con is going to re-release this figure with this head sculpt there. So it gives you guys a couple of options if you never got that 2-pack in the past. And then if you have the older Tom Holland head sculpt, it does not work because that had a smaller ball peg, so it is not going to pop on there. And then this, you know, definitely wasn't that great of a head sculpt. Um, so that is not something that will really work. I guess you can fake it certain angle type deal, but it doesn't really work. Okay, and there's my review of the integrated suit Spider-Man. It's definitely a fun one, a nice upgrade to the other previous Spider-Man MCU figures. No wall crawling hands, still sucks. Um, so not sure why Hasbro doesn't do it other than, you know, the reasoning we get, you know, costs and cuts have to be made in certain spots. So wall crawling hands are just one of those things. Now, I would probably prefer fists and thwip hands over wall crawling hands. Uh, but we still want those damn wall crawling hands. Uh, the pinless tech being used um, in its entirety in this figure, you know, the double uh, jointed elbows and knees with no pins is awesome. Um, it's interesting, the suit design, you know, I can't wait to see kind of what the explanation for it is in the film, in the movie, you know, what's going on with it. So I'm very excited for the movie. The trailer looks crazy. I just want to get some more information, you know, who's going to be in the movie. Is Tobey Maguire in the movie? Is Andrew Garfield in the movie? Are we going to get figures of them? Uh, time will tell and we shall see, um, but who knows. Um, anyway, if you guys like this figure, let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on it. Uh, if you guys like the video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thank you for watching.